President Obama continues his campaign style tour on middle class issues across the country this week. Today he's in Phoenix, an area hard hit by the housing crisis. Lisa Foradori joins us. She is from JP Morgan Chase. Uh, good morning. Who's buying and how's Phoenix doing these days? So from a buying perspective, we're, we're starting to see younger dual income couples getting into the market, which is good. And, I, and the reason they're doing it is there's some positive signs. And, you know, talking specifically to Phoenix, when we look at our Chase mortgage originations, um, year over year, we've seen over a 50 percent increase in originations from 2011 to 2012. But then what's really important about Phoenix is we're seeing the, the home values increase. And so, you know, buyers are looking to see that those values are increasing and they're also making sure that, you know, they want to be confident. So they want to see that unemployment rates have remained steady, which, you know, what we're seeing is it, unemployment rates in Phoenix are lower than the national average. And so Phoenix in general is a very hot market for us, close to, you know, 70 percent of our total originations in 2013 is from the Phoenix area. So we're seeing a good recovery there. We're seeing, you know, these younger couples, dual income couples getting into the market. So it's encouraging. Let's talk a little bit about sellers. What sort of advice do you have for people who've been holding on to their homes, holding on to their properties, hoping for the values to go up? Um, what advice do you have for them? So sellers have to consider the fact that if they're also trying to buy a new home, um, rates are at historic lows, and so they're going to want they want to benefit from those great rates. In addition to that, as values go up, they want to make sure that if they're trying to get a deal on the buy side of this, that they're pricing fairly on the sell side. So they need to be realistic about the home that they're selling because they also want to benefit on the buy side of this, this strong period. What sort of advice do you have on the flip side for, uh, for buyers who are entering the market now? Home buyers, you really want them to educate themselves. So it's really getting themselves ready as a buyer, whether that's, you know, understanding their monthly budget, um, understanding their credit score, getting pre-qualified to go buy the home, and then use the technology that's out there. Uh, we have a great um, new app. It's called My New Home. And it's from Chase, and it allows them to search for the homes. Again, 90% of these guys are out there on the Internet searching for homes, so this app allows you to search for the home. It allows them to take videos, take pictures, um, take notes on the home. But then it also has a lot of the tools available to understand their budget, what they can afford from a payment perspective, what that rate's going to look like, but then connect with a local mortgage banker. They still, with all this technology, want the ability to connect with someone locally, and so they have the ability just to call a local mortgage banker through the, uh, their phone. Too. Very good. Good so. advice, Lisa Floridori. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.